Howdy everyone, this is Mop Wild, this is Diamond Society, and welcome back to episode number 53. And you may have heard the news, possibly from my latest video, or from other members' videos. Season 2 is coming. Now, it may have been just a bit of a surprise. It was a little bit abrupt. I saw a whole bunch of videos come out right on uh, the same time about this. So, yeah, maybe a little bit unexpected, but we are approaching Season 2, so probably by the end of the month around then... I think Halloween is kind of just a benchmark of around when Season 1 will be ending. But, yeah, we're running out of time because of that. We don't have a whole lot of time left to finish everything that we wanted to at the ranch. And so I have previously mentioned in videos that I do certain things off camera. I never really got around to it. So we're going to be doing all that kind of detail work, those small things, finishing all that stuff up so that we can have a complete base by the time the world download comes out. So... We've got some stuff to do, so the very first thing that I want to do is a little bit more crucial than all of the others because we are missing one farm. We have just about every farm around here. I believe we do actually have every single farm except for one. We don't have a wheat farm. Now that is a very simple thing, and we are lacking that. We don't have a wheat farm. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a small micro farm for it. Nothing Nothing too extravagant. Why can't I? Okay. <laughs> so nothing too extravagant because, of course, we won't really have time to use it. And we do have plenty of hay bales, which means we have plenty of wheat. So that's really not going to be too much of an issue. Do one of those bone-based uh, ones because we do have the skeleton farm, which means plenty of bones and plenty of bone meal in turn for that. So that'll go somewhere around here. But then we have plenty of other things to do. I know I said I was going to kind of decorate up the area in front of the sugarcane farm there. Probably toss in like a river or something to go along there. Just kind of fill up some of the blank space. And we've got plenty of other things to do. So I'm going to get to work right away on that wheat farm. And then that will have every single farm, I believe, in the game done. That's another thing we actually got to fix. Is occasional blocks like that when, you know, mobs come in. They they drop down. They, you know, they take out the crop. We've got plenty of that to fix around here. That's, that's pretty annoying. But mobs don't spawn around here anymore, which is pretty good. We have plenty of lighting around here. So that wheat farm, I think, is going to go right about here. And it shouldn't take up too much space, really, because it is a micro farm. Holy cow. Yep, that's how you know that this area is really well lit. There are a lot of mobs over there. I did record this section at night. I wouldn't usually do that, but that was a heck of a sight. So you can see that the farm is right there, and it is all built mechanically, at least. I'm going to put a little building around it, but I first wanted to show off actually how it works. And a link to the tutorial will be down in the description. This design is by... Impulse SV, just grab a bit of that there, and then we'll grab, let's do, hmm, let's just do one seed, and we'll see how well this works. There's a chance that one seed might not be enough, I probably should have grabbed more, but we're going to go ahead and test this as is. So, I do want to apologize ahead of time, because this episode will probably be a little bit scattered, because we are doing all those end, you know, builds and such, and wow, that is just a lot of mobs. Let's go ahead and chuck the bone meal in there now and like snap ah oh, okay there we go that's good enough so yeah this is going to be probably pretty scattered and i do apologize for that however there are several things that we do need to finish and that's kind of what this episode's going to be you know we don't have a whole lot of time to finish it all so we're just going to get it all in there will be at least one more episode where we do a tour but hopefully we only can finish all these random bits today so yep <laughs> I might seem like a bit of a scatterbrain, but we do not have a whole lot of time here. Let's go ahead now. We're going to start this, and when we flip that lever, this redstone's going to power, which powers this comparator clock here. That is on subtract mode, so it's going to keep blinking on and off. And then that redstone line just comes on right up here, and that's going to hit that block, which powers that dispenser. It's on top of that dispenser, so it's going to power that. And then it's also going to power this dispenser because it's on that block. And we've got our water to keep our plot tilled right in there, so... Let's go ahead and give this a try. Hopefully this works. Let's turn this on. It's a power, and there we go. And there we go. Oh, working. We need to get more than one seed. Oh, hey, there we go. Okay, that is a lot of particles. And I do have block nices off, otherwise this would be an incredibly loud farm. You'd hear all the clicking from the dispensers and such, which you definitely do not want to hear. And look at that. That is so much weed already. Why are we not getting a whole lot more, though? Uh-oh. Did broken? Well, that explains it. Okay, we're out of we're out of bone meal. That's why. But anyway, yeah. Okay, working. That is awesome. We now need to get a little bit of a building around here, and then I think I'm also going to check in the river right away. Got to flow from somewhere up there. Come on down here and on over there. So we're going to fill up all this extra space back here, and then we're going to not have a whole lot of extra space around here, which is exactly what we want. We wanted to fill up this whole area, and we have done so. 
And it looks like we could actually use a light up here because something could spawn on top of that. Don't think they could spawn on top of anything else. So maybe just change that to glowstone, actually. That could that could totally work. We're going to do that. So, yeah, we got the river and the glowstone block. Okay, so here's the building that we are looking at here. Of course, it is a pretty small building because the structure itself was pretty small. But it all still works, and that is the important thing. Yeah, not a whole lot going on here. But we do just have the oak pillars going up with a couple of stone brick walls and then the cobblestone pillars alongside of that. Just a simple half slab roof, so nothing will spawn up there. That's all good and dandy. But really, what most of my time has gone into, and this has taken a fair bit of time really, has gone into this waterfall and then this river here leading down into a pond at the end. I do think it turned out fairly well. I'm not a super great natural builder, but I think it worked all right. I was thinking originally about putting the waterfall way up there, but then it would knock out some of the grass and the leaves and such. And I didn't really want that, so I just left it a little bit lower. It kind of comes out of the hill there, comes on down here, and then flows all the way down. Even though it's not really flowing here, but, you know, you kind of get the point there. So, yeah, I may have gone a little bit crazy with the sugar cane. That was really excessive, probably. But, anyway, yeah, I did that along with the melons and the pumpkins. I think those are actually jack-o'-lanterns, though, to provide plenty of light. And at night, this looks really cool. All this kind of stuff kind of lights up and such. But then we also chucked in some of the hay bales alongside here. A couple more trees and everything, just to kind of make the area look really full. It's really what I was looking for here is just to kind of complete everything. So I got plenty of bone meal and whatnot. But then I also did some of these boulders, which is, I think, kind of cool. Kind of gives a nice feel to the river and just to have kind of that. And then I really mostly did the mossy down next to the water. That one I went a little bit higher. I think somewhere else I've done that as well. Not really sure. But then also if you look in here, maybe you can't really notice this, but there is some coarse dirt in there. Started doing that and then realized you can't really see it. But then anyway, the water down here... Does it flow? No. Okay, well, I was originally planning on having it, like, flow down into a pond, but I guess I forgot to do that, so same dealio down here. All that stuff that we had over there is over here as well, although now I've also gone ahead and done the leaves just a little bit higher, kind of give more, like, a shrubbery kind of feel, a little bit more overgrown down on this side, and then also chucked in some lily pads. So, yeah, I mean, not the greatest thing, probably, and a little bit different from everywhere else because it is so much more crowded. But I do kind of like how it turned out. I think it turned out pretty well, really. Oh, no! What did I just break? No, put that back. That's to prevent the sugar cane from growing any higher. It's a good trick to, uh, to use there. But anyway, if you have noticed, my voice is probably a little bit dull. And that is because it is fairly late at night. You know, time is running out. We are running short on hours here. Probably the last week, really, that I have to record here. So I'm trying to use every little bit that I can here to get everything done. So we have plenty more to do. You know, we still got the area back there to do and whatnot. But I will probably think of something I'm not sure what I want to do next. I have a whole list of things. So let's see what I actually do. Uh, almost. Hey, there we go. So here we go. This is the end of this side, at least. We have still a few other things to do here. But this side is now... All covered up here. You can't really see past me. You can see through a few of the cracks, but it does definitely kind of give that kind of natural wall feel, which we're definitely kind of looking for here. And I thought I should have jump boost. There it is. So, oh, no, we can't get back up there. But yeah, we just kind of did the acacia and the oak trees. We didn't mix anything else in there. That's just kind of the trees that we've been using around here. And it never fails. Every time I do water, I do it slightly differently than the other places where I've done water. And you cannot see from here. Let's try. Oh, no. Okay, we're going to go up here. So. This time, let's actually just pop over there. Now I've used the path block and kind of surrounded the water like that. That's something I've never done before. And we just got the big patches of melon and the big patches of pumpkins or actually jack-o'-lanterns to give a little bit more of an illuminated look there. And then same thing with the hay bales over there. It's so just kind of giving these big patches. Again, new stuff. You know, it, it fits in. But even at now the end of the season, we're still managing to come up with new ideas for ways to decorate the place. And I just keep falling in there. Now, if only we could keep the squids out. Wish we could do that, but the whole area is bone mealed and lit up. You can see there we have some jack lanterns in the ground up until about here ish. I think that's when it kind of stops and then it just kind of becomes the dark forest. Let's actually just pop over there. Not even worry because it can't actually come over. That X acts as a little bit better of a wall, kind of mob proofing the area. So they can't get over that. They could still kind of shoot me though if I stand on the side. But yeah, the area is looking pretty cool. This runs all the way down. This actually comes. All the way over to where the villager breeder is, which is actually deactivated at the moment because it was totally overflowing. But if we come down here, yeah, you can see that right there. It even comes across, 
I forgot that I did this on the other side. It's been a few hours since I actually did this. But then it comes on over here, and that goes all the way to the hill. So we kind of continue that wall going all the way around here. And then, of course, when we come in here, we've got the hillside. That all kind of goes, and then we've got the forest over here. And we might actually be completely encapsulated here. Let's actually come over here. Hmm. We have this then for a wall over here with the the village behind it, the cactus farm, and the cactus over here. That's intentionally stopped, by the way, I think. I think we were full up on cactus. And then we come over here and we got the wheat farm and then the big hill back there, and yeah, it's just a big loop, so we do ha actually have ourselves completely enclosed now. Okay, I thought we still had one side to do, but I did say that I forgot to finish that end. Let's actually pop down there because I did one other thing that I meant to do. Oh, no, we're really high. <laughs> Let's pop all the way over here because down at the end now, right outside this, I said I was going to build up this little patch here of leaves, and I have finally done that. <laughs> it's been a little bit since I've done that. I keep forgetting. It was definitely needed before. I just kind of had like this awkward seam between all these different leaves, but that definitely looks a little bit better. A little bit more of a bush now. I could even probably stick like an item frame with an apple in it. That could be kind of cool. But then that leads right up into where our brewery is, and actually on the other side of the smeltery. We have rabbit's foot now. I didn't find a rabbit foot, so we have that. That is all taken care of. We have each one of those slots filled, so getting ever more closer. I don't think that's even proper grammar, but we are so close to finishing this thing. We do have just a few other things, a few crops that I need to replace. And actually, if we pop over here, there is one other thing that I did. A few things, really. I edited this up, and I did take out all the trees, so you can see it's a little bit better. But first off, I added all these cobblestone slabs. Those are all going around the place there, so that gives it a little bit more of a gentle slope, where before we just had the block popping out, and then we had that really sharp corner right there. Now we've got a little bit more of a flow going on. And again, then the cobblestone is just kind of like going up the whole thing, not just kind of just random in the middle. But then I've also added glowstone in the sides here, and that was to keep the area a little bit better lit. And then stuck some trapdoors on it so the texture didn't pop out too much there. So that's all looking pretty cool. You don't really notice it, and it fits in with the trapdoors below. So that's all good and stuff. And up here, then, we also have the jack-o'-lanterns now. Instead of just one in the middle, we've got two on either end. So one closer to the path, and I think the whole path is lit up. I don't think there's any sevens, so yeah, nothing can spawn up here. That is pretty good. Then I also, on top of these half subs, stuck some gray carpets, and you can't really notice it. And from the bottom, you almost don't notice it at all. Kind of just blends in with the glass behind it, and then these stone slabs there. So that's just to prevent any mob spawning on top of there. They won't spawn on the carpets, so that is now completely mob proof as far as I know. I did see one mob over here earlier, although I'm not really sure where it spawned. It could have possibly spawned on that tree, though, and come up. I guess that could have been a thing. But now trees can just be planted all the way across, going all the way over. We don't have to worry about any kind of weird patterns, because like before we had like a jack in the middle, I put one here, 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 here. And then it would just be kind of weird to, to cut stuff down, and there'd be leaves in the middle, and it was just a big mess. And this works a whole lot better, and it keeps the whole place lit too. So yeah, a few other things, like crops to fix. I don't know, I'll probably figure something out else out. Actually, let's pop on in here. This big gray tomb right in the middle. The item elevator. Um, so many changes to item elevators that we did have to fix this. So currently, you know, we just chucked that in there. That's going to go down into the system here, and if we can actually see... Uh, what's a good... Oh, there it goes. And up, and there was some sugar cane going along with it. So then that's going to go off into the storage area here, which could probably... Ooh. We have a lot of overflow sugar... Okay, we need to go turn that off, and then dump a lot of the extra sugar cane, because we have so much of the stuff. No, stop picking stuff up. I'm too close. <laughs> That thing's filled up back there. Yeah, we have plenty of stuff that we need to get rid of. So, anyway, yeah, we, we need to chop this thing back down, back to the way it used to be, make it look how it used to. Just make it look good before the season ends. I know in 111, the design that I'm going to change it to will work. It's going to be really simple, really. We've got this kind of, like, outer shell here. We're just going to remove that, get rid of some of those hoppers, and then we can remove that redstone block to being underneath that redstone lamp as well and make that all looking pretty good there. And it would appear that I have done my final projects for this season here. So I think the only crops that were actually busted up were over here, so that's all good. But we come around here, and you can see <laughs> there's a lot more beacons now. And if you look in the upper right, I do have quite a few more uh, effects than I did before. We got four beacons out front here now, so that is all cool. Been spending quite a bit of time at the Wither Farm trying to get up enough skulls for this. I did already have quite a few skulls, actually. I just hadn't <laughs> actually uh, fought any of the Withers. I hadn't really thought about that before, and then I was going through my chest and found that, so that's all pretty cool. You got a lot of them around here, and I was going to color them, but I think a color would kind of ruin the effect, because you got like the white on the blue sky, 
And I think it just kind of fits in with like the lighter grays around here and everything. So apart from that, we are back to the way we had our item elevator at the beginning of the season. Right here, just a small glass tube right in the middle going on up. And I think this works much better than the other one. So, I mean, looks better at least. Maybe it doesn't work better. Let's see, does this thing have anything in it? No, so you won't actually really be able to see it unless we do... Let's put a piece of pork in there. So it's gonna come out. I guess the bottom part is actually different, but the tube looks the same. Let's see if this is gonna work. Oh, it did, okay. So yeah, I mean, with it this like this, uh, stuff could spit out the side. So I'm trying to use it as little as possible, but come 1.11 if y'all download the world and play with it and, you know, on that, then that could be a thing that uh, actually works. I think as of now, they do work fully how they're supposed to. So uh, that might actually come out all the way at the back. It usually takes a while to come through. Yeah, it's not there yet. So I did also stop uh, the sugarcane farm so we don't have a ton of overflow there. Just kind of preventing all that. And I probably could have stopped a few other ones. I think I might have stopped cactus. Is this one full? Yes, I'm pretty sure I did that. So not sure totally um, if there's maybe a few just kind of like maintenance things that I should be doing around here. Uh, but really there's nothing else major. And I don't think any other changes have actually occurred. So we fixed the crops. We put in the beacons and we you know, we kind of shrunk the item elevator. I believe that is everything. So for the last time this season, I will see y'all in the next video, I guess. <laughs> season 2, there may actually be a bit of a showcase of my base, but probably won't really be a real episode, but more or less just probably spectator, maybe shaders mod or something like that. But I will see y'all in Season 2 which should hopefully be soon, and I do have some big plans. So really hyped for that. Adios.